The name's Mike. And in my shop, the only thing that matters is caps and junk. And if there's one thing that the Wasteland taught me is that you can never have enough junk. What, you got junk in your pants? I'll buy that junk. I'll take that junk right out of your pants. I'll take that junk. I'll flip that junk. I'll sell that junk. I'll make a considerable profit off of your junk. You keep bringing me your junk, I'll sell that. I'm the cap guy. You don't know anyone with as much caps as me, and I'm ready to spend them all on your junk. I am the Pawn Star. My name's Mike, with a Y, and I used to own one of the most profitable pawn shops in all of the New Vegas Strip. But, for reasons I won't get into right now, I had to leave immediately. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. One person goes missing and suddenly everyone loses their minds. We used to do it all the time. Meat was easy. Now I've opened up my shop out here in the Commonwealth to help these idiots with too much junk and not enough brains turn a profit. Hello, my name is, uh, my name is Seller and uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm here to try to sell my vault Tech bobblehead today. Uh, this this is a family heirloom. Uh, my my grandfather came from uh, from the vaults uh, that this is from, and uh, you know passed it on and it came down to me. And currently, you know, I, I kind of need some caps. Um, uh, the gu the gunners are currently threatening my family if we don't pay a certain fine. So I'm trying to make it happen. All right, sir. So what have you brought in for us today? I, okay, I have to tell you too. Uh, this is a as a, a vault tech bobblehead. Wow. Yeah. A bobblehead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh huh. Is uh, you know, it's uh, like I was telling yep. them, it was a family I mean, heirloom. Uh, it's really important. You know, oh, that may be a problem there. Well, it, how much were you hoping to get from this today? Uh, I, I'm looking to get two thousand caps. <sighs> two thousand caps. Yeah, that's pretty steep. If this is real. Th then you might be looking at something, okay? But I got a guy, I'm gonna call him in here. We're gonna get him to verify if this is real. So long as it doesn't take by the end of the night because I, I am on a deadline. Jimmy is my local vault guy slash vault tech expert. He knows everything about vault tech and authenticity from the hollow games, the pit boys and the bobbleheads. And if he says that this thing is real, we are talking about a gold mine that we're sitting on. Not even just a gold mine a bottle cap mine that's waiting to explode. We're talking 50,000 caps to the right buyer. I've been selling a mic for about 10 years now and I, I got something I know he's gonna like. All right, so what are you bringing in to us today? Have you ever had a pit boy in here? Well, you know, pit boys are actually pretty common, uh, pretty, pretty easy to find. They're all over the place. Ah. Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at uh, what you brought me today. Well, right here. Oh, yeah, this isn't even a. Uh, so, so this is a pit boy. You're not wrong, uh, but this is a uh, '76 uh, style pit boy. Yeah, look at look at that pit boy model 2000 Mark VI. Yeah, uh, the '76 pit boys. They're really they're really not as valuable as uh, some of the other models uh, that we have. The most you're looking at for this is probably about five caps. Yeah. yeah what the fuck? Yep, I don't know, I'm uh, I gotta call bull crap on that one, honestly. All right, yeah, five caps is fine. Can we, uh, actually, can we just swap it for some jet? Because I gotta go. And I feel like I have to be honest with you at this point, I do sell jet. Uh, it's, it's not because I'm a dealer or anything. It's just, it's all about making money. And guess what? Junkies have more caps than they have since because their brains are fried. We sell a little bit of everything in this shop. We've got power armor, ammunition, and a little New Vegas special, a Blue Star bottle cap. A guy named Malcolm Holmes used to follow me around for this thing, hoping he could get it for five caps. I said, you're out of your damn mind. 
I hope he's dead. I've never been robbed. You'd have to be like a stealth master to get past me. Uh, me? Uh, I, I, really, I really don't shop here. I'm more of a, a browser. <laughs> if this wow. bobblehead is real, it could be a gold mine to the right buyer. <laughs> Better yet, a bottle cap mine waiting to explode. You already said that. Yeah, I, I know I said it. Why do you keep saying it? Well, did it stop being funny? I don't know if it's not funny. Well, I'm gonna keep saying it until it stops being funny. Uh, yes, my name is Jimmy. I am the, uh, the vault expert. And, uh, you know, Mike says he has something very interesting for, for us today, and uh, I'm excited to see what it is. All right, Jimmy, what are we looking at? Oh, oh, wow, wow, yeah. Oh, this is something else right here. This is, uh, yeah, this is vault Tech. Wow, yeah, they wow. really put a lot yep. of these out. Uh, in the year uh, 2077, uh, before the bombs had dropped. Um, and, and this was a way that they would use to market their vaults. Uh, and, wow. and, and this is, uh, I, I believe, if I'm correct, uh, it's a 76 one on top of that. So, you know, a lot of people don't like the 76 one, but there is actually a lot of secret value inside. Yeah, of like the I said, it, you know, it was passed uh, down. That, that, you know, it, I it was passed down people to take uh, a look at. from my um, great grandfather so or whatever. Obviously, and his hands, uh, you know, this was a representation of like the holding. So if I had if I had to guess, this was probably a strength bobblehead. Yeah, because they wow. were actually inside. Of yeah, they oh, they probably only made about three or four that. of these yes. uh, in its entire entire run. Um, yep. And, and it's, oh, wow, wow. I hope he says this thing is real. I really want this in my shop. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, this is, this is a real authentic bobblehead, uh, vault, bed, vault boy bobblehead. Uh, you, you've, got a, you've got a real prize on your hands, sir. A real prize on your hands, here. Okay. So are you gonna pay me now? All right, or? thank you so much, Jimmy. Yep, it was nice. And a big help. Nice seeing you thank again, you. Mike. Uh, I'm gonna, you know you do have a death bot problem in the alleyway, just as a heads up. Now that Jimmy has verified the authenticity of this bobblehead, I'm ready to make a deal with the seller. Well, you heard Jimmy. What we have is an authentic bobblehead on our hands. So, what do you wanna do? Well, you told me if I said 2,000 caps again, you're gonna slit my throat in front of everybody here, so how about 1,000? Sometimes they try to play hardball, but they forget that their charisma is never enough. I, I still can't do 1,000. What do you mean you can't? You told me to say 1,000. Tell you what, I can give you 100 caps. That sound fair? It's a deal. All right, yeah, thank you. Well, I'm not exactly happy with how that went. You know, my family's probably going to die tonight. Um, I'm gonna see if we can't pack up and hopefully escape. Uh, maybe, maybe try to try to make it, you know, somewhere else. Maybe Capital City. Maybe you know, anywhere else is better than this right now. Um, uh, you are looking at a dead man walking. I'm happy I was able to come to an agreement with the seller. The seller is satisfied with a hundred caps. I now have a bobblehead in my shop, and I'm ready to mark that bad boy up to the insane price of a hundred thousand caps. Yeah, I hit this place up like maybe twice a week. I don't know. Idiot still hasn't gotten any guards. Anyway, I'm taking the mic too. Next week on Pawn Star, Mike gets an unlikely visitor. So I just bought this little butte from Mike. Uh, he, he sold it to me for 25 caps and uh, he even threw in some extra ammo. <laughs> Mike is such a nice guy. All right, just a goddamn robbery! Give me everything you got! Best I can do is 20 caps. I. Right. What? All right. You're twisting my arm here. 25. Take it or leave it. What? This programming has been brought to you by viewers like you. If you enjoyed the show, please consider getting some merch to let everyone in the wasteland know just who you are. Up next is the Commonwealth's most popular show, I Married a Synth. <laughs>